and welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. This is the Sacramento Report. I'm Steve Swatt. My guest this segment is Nancy Skinner, who is a member of the State uh, Assembly from Berkeley. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Uh, as you know, after the, the mass shooting in Aurora, Colorado, there have mm -hmm. been all sorts of efforts uh, nationally, California, other states, to deal with uh, gun violence. And uh, I know, uh, interesting, you took one of your languishing bills that was going nowhere, had to deal with taxes, got rid of all the insides, and, and put in a... Uh, some language dealing with, not with the guns, but with the with ammunition. The ammunition, yes. Yeah. Well, I think many of us were very um, surprised to learn that while gun sales are highly regulated, ammunition is not at all. And so you had that individual in Colorado um, basically amass a great deal of ammunition, buy, you know, 6,000 or more rounds right. of ammunition in a very short time period, less than two week time period. And I think you know, we'd probably like to see law enforcement have some heads up about that. So your legislation uh, asked for what? My legislation is simply a notification. Um, right now, if you buy a gun, you have a 10-day waiting period. The gun dealer that you buy from has to be licensed. You have to give your name and information. There's restrictions on who can buy guns. So all I'm trying to do with ammunition is when you buy ammunition, that your information is given, and then if you buy more than a thousand rounds, exceeding a thousand rounds in a five-day period, um, law enforcement will be notified. Now, there's no requirement on law enforcement to act. So clearly, if you're a you know, skeet shooter known to law enforcement, they're not gonna say anything to you about buying, you know, say, number of rounds for your 22 caliber rifle. But let's say you're an individual who's had a 5150, that's a mental um, illness incident and law enforcement maybe knows about it, and you've amassed those kinds of rounds of ammunition like the gentleman in Colorado. Now law enforcement can check on you and maybe prevent these kind of situations. So That's the, the intent. So the idea would be to raise a red flag, perhaps, with law enforcement before there's, there's uh, an, an incident. Right. Information can be powerful. Give law enforcement the discretion. Now there's also, after, after the, an incident, if there is one, mm -hmm. there's a, this is like a tracking device, too. Right, right. right. Yes. Well, you know what the other side's going to say. I mean, if this is an unwarranted intrusion on the Second Amendment, and and uh, there are already so many regulations on gun ownership, the, why do you have to go a step further? Well, right now, you don't even have to be a gun owner and you can buy up all this ammunition, right? So I think that um, given the kinds of uh, regulation, notification, waiting period, restrictions we have on gun ownership, while we're not doing the same thing by any means to ammunition in this case, I think we also need to give the public a little bit of more protection regarding ammunition sales and equip our law enforcement with a few more tools. Isn't there another provision in this legislation dealing with large capacity clips? Uh, there's uh, the conversion of clips. We have, uh, there's another bill, Senator Yee bill, Yee's bill that's going through regarding uh, people have now ways that they can convert yeah. clips to make them like a semi-automatic. Right. My bill also has a, a bit in that uh, um, on a way that there's restriction on conversions that isn't covered in Senator Yee's bill. Okay, and it's, and it's designed to get rid of a loophole, sort of a loophole right, a in loophole. the law. That Correct, was right. we already restrict these uh, kind of fast clip and uh, yet we forgot that there's these conversions that one can access. All right, well, we're out of time, but Nancy Skinner, thanks for coming by and talking about this interesting issue. Obviously, it is, you know, what has happened in, uh, what happened in Colorado has prompted all sorts of attempts uh, to uh, do something about gun violence, and uh, we'll certainly watch the progress of your, your legislation. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers for watching uh, Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.